um, this came out of our lady schedule at the March of Conservatory of the North Side of the Lady. It's a lovely little sketch we got for the senior team, or about the seniors. And it's a really small little sketch, so she can do it. Hey, Jen. Hi. Thanks for coming with me tonight and staying out late. Jess actually just got a no ticket. She has, she's um committed Joe. so much to this project <laughs> that we, we really appreciate getting her feedback. So if you guys want to pay off my $30 ticket. Yeah, we'll have a donate button. donations. <laughs> we this definitely will. Arts. Exactly. And it's if the meter the maid, it, do you have a uh, message for the meter maid who gave this ticket? This is your message. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hi, Mom. <laughs> sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Grandma. No, my, my grandma wouldn't care. Sorry, okay. Mom. <laughs> um, now, uh, we just watched a comedy called Our Lady of Sandwich, and Jess, when you came out of the show, I think we weren't five steps out of the theater before you said one thing. Can you tell us about that moment? I asked you where the sandwich was, <laughs> because the entire play, I was waiting for the Virgin Mary to be in a sandwich, okay? It's called Our Lady of Sandwich. I knew it had something to do with the Virgin Mary, obviously. They were in a diner. They were eating salads. They were eating pie. They were eating her boiled eggs. There was tea. There was coffee. There was mention of a bear claw. There was no sandwich in the play. They talked about the sandwich that was sold on eBay, but there's no sandwich. It was a, a disappointing was moment. Yeah. Um, but there were some, you know, uh, some positive notes on, on the show as well. Um, Jess, tell us about your favorite character. My favorite character was the um, diner waitress. She was your um, stereotypical southern, small town, um, not so bright of a character. She commented that her mother had died of plagiarism <laughs> at one point, which I think was one of my favorite lines. And she just, not only was she hilarious, but she had a heart of gold. She was so um, genuinely hopeful that some miraculous thing had happened in their town, and yet was still on the side of the... Um, call her the bad lady, the bad guy of the play, who wanted to squash the whole thing. She still was on her side. She kind of played both teams because she genuinely wanted the best for everyone, and I, I liked her a lot. She was very clever. If you could uh, recommend the show to anyone, who do you think uh, would be top of your list of people to say, hey, uh, the show happening March 30th, 31st, at 8th, and April 1st at 3, you got to get there no matter what. Wh who's the person that you tell they have to see this? I would definitely recommend this to anybody with a sense of humor. Don't go in here um, expecting to be preached at or expecting uh, to not take a joke or two about religion. So if you like humor, you should go see it. <laughs> and um, we talked a little bit about uh, the moments that you'll take away with you from this show. Yeah. Um, what are a few of those moments, those scenes that you remember, or uh, just moments with your, your characters? Well, I think m most of all what you'll take away from the show, it's, it's very um, clever. There's a lot of dry humor, and then there's also a lot of pokes about um, different religions, different denominations, and what they think of each other, and then a lot of like small town, hick town jokes. So it has a little bit of something for everyone in anyway. the So that would be the number one thing I um, took away. And then number two was I really was wondering um, how they came up with the concept for this play and what their message was. I have an idea, but um, it's very open-ended. It's very open to one's own interpretation, so I'm not sure. You had a specific um, thought for Mario and Keith, playwrights. We, we're going to talk to them by first name because if they contact us, of course, they can, they can call us Jess and Joanna. So um, to, to Mario and Keith, what would you want to ask them about? I would definitely ask them what was the starting point for the basis of this play. Um, based on the name and the several references, I'm guessing it was the Virgin Mary showing up in a grilled cheese sandwich. Um, maybe the one on Glee, and I think there was also one that sold on eBay. So I feel like maybe they watched that Glee episode. Oh no, that was Jesus in the Glee episode. It was a Virgin Mary that showed up in a grilled cheese on 
eBay. That's what it was. So I'm thinking maybe it was like one of those two that gave them the initial idea. And then I also would really love to know if there was a personal experience that was tied with this. Um, maybe to one of the playwrights or to one of their friends because it seemed like they <clears throat> there was this underlying comment that people who are very religious can be very nosy and very judgmental and those who uh the two who the virgin mary showed up and uh, and showed herself to um they were kind of the least likely that you would guess that she would reveal herself to so i was wondering if there was um, a point to that or maybe a story behind that that inspired them Thank you so much, Jess, for being Thank our you. third. Um, and last of all, do you have any advice to the next person that I uh, put under this torture? Uh, wear sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> all <kidding>. right. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>